A shape can be used to represent a whole. The shape can be divided into equal parts to represent a fraction. Equal parts are the same size, but do not have to be the same shape. Which of these shapes is broken into equal pieces? First, look at the circle. These pieces are equal. We can easily see that they are the same size. Now look at the rectangle. These pieces are not equal. We can easily see that the yellow piece is much larger than the others. Finally, look at the square. Are these pieces the same size? They are not the same shape, so it's hard to tell. Think about partitioning it one part at a time. The shape is broken into two equal halves. The left half is broken into two equal parts. And the right half is also broken into two equal parts. So each of the four parts is half of a half. They are all the same size, even though they are not the same shape. These are equal parts. When a shape is broken into equal pieces, we can write a fraction to describe the area of each piece. This shape is broken into three equal pieces, so each piece is equal to one-third of the whole. In a fraction, the denominator, or bottom number, tells the number of pieces the whole is broken into. The denominator for this model is three because there are three equal parts. The numerator, or top number, tells the number of pieces you're talking about. To tell the area of one piece, the numerator would be one. This fraction says one-third. Each piece of the shape is one-third. Which of these models also has pieces representing one-third? The correct answer will have three equal sized pieces. The triangle does not have three parts. The circle has three parts, but they are different sizes. And the hexagon has three parts, and they are of equal size. So each piece is one-third. This is the correct answer. Let's look at another shape. In this shape, there are six equal pieces. Four of them are shaded. The fraction 4 sixths represents the shaded pieces because the whole is broken into six equal parts, and four of them are shaded. If we shade one more piece, now what fraction is shaded? 5 sixths is shaded because there are still six equal pieces, but now five of them are shaded. Here's one more problem. This model represents Judy's garden. The shaded part is planted with flowers. What fraction of Judy's garden does not have flowers? We can see that this model is broken into five equal parts. Two of them are shaded. These parts have flowers. Three of them are not shaded. The question asks for the fraction of the garden that does not have flowers. To find that fraction, we can write the total number of unshaded parts, three, in the numerator, and the total number of equal parts, five, in the denominator. This fraction is three-fifths, so three-fifths of Judy's garden does not have flowers. In this video, you have learned to identify shapes with equal parts and to write fractions representing them. Thanks for watching.